Do you think that we, for lack of a better word, we punish players for their you know, lack of production from a national team perspective? And it's, it's unfair. I mean, you, you, you're born where you're born or you, you yeah. play for who you play for ultimately. And, you know, Messi benefits from the fact that not only is he an incredible player, but he also plays for Argentina. And if Messi were playing for Finland or somebody else, would we look at him in the same way? Is that fair? I, I think it's fair in the sense that, I, I, again, I think it's a weighted scale. If, if, let's say, when Ronaldo won the Euros, he had a terrible club season and, Chris, and uh, Erling Holland had this amazing club, I think I would have a more of an argument of saying, like, you know, okay, you won the Euros. Holland doesn't play international soccer. In this case, of course. But the World Cup, I think, trumps everything. It's, it's, it's every, four, every four years. I guess, so for example, if I lined up... Uh, I know the Euros is. Pep <laughs> and Klopp and... But, you know, put, put you know, just add whoever you believe are the top ten coaches in the world, managers in the world. Oh, here we go. And I had them; they could either pick Holland or Messi to start their team. They don't know any of the other players to start their team in current form or or prime on both. No, no, no. Currently, like this right is now, a, this is about now. Right this now, is about now. I take Erling Holland. Right. So, how many of those ten do you think would take Messi? Man, that's a that's a tough one because even watching what Messi like, you want to say, okay, he guy's thirty eight. At thirty eight, the man just won a World Cup and absolutely balled out. But isn't but is isn't that it's it, yeah? Don't you? I, so I, wait, I wait, who would you take? I take Erling Holland. You take Holland? Yeah, absolutely. But but when you're when you're judging this, you can't get that moment of him holding up the World Cup out. Uh, uh, Messi's holding up the World Cup, and yet this is about the best player in this period of time. And how is it possible that given the opportunity to pick between Holland and Messi for you're not taking the quote unquote best player? I mean, I know I've, I've framed it differently where yeah. you know, Klopp would say, yes, but I can get other people to make up for what Messi does and I need those other 10 to be able to. Because it's a little bit of a tilted question. Like, depends on the players around him. You know, you throw Messi into Man City, they're going to win everything. And Messi's going to score 50 plus goals. Yep. Yep. So, you know, I'm changing my mind. I'm taking Messi. You're taking Messi? Give me Messi. Oh, my goodness. Well, let us know out Just there so who, I could coach who you would once. take. Or if there's somebody else out there uh, beyond those two that you would take. Now, the list is too long. I'm not going to read them all off here. But does anybody, does anybody have a chance or, or, uh, you know, light a fire when you uh, when you read it, whether it's uh, Benzema and Musiala and Mosala and Bellingham and Saka, and the list goes on and on and on. It's Anybody a, it's here? A great list, by the way. It's a great list. Yeah, Lots Harry of really, Kane, really, really, really good Mbappe. players. <laughs> Gundogan, <laughs> yeah, Gundogan, <Mbappe. laughs> uh, Vinicius Junior. Uh, it it goes on. Uh, uh, Griezmann's on here. Someone asked me earlier today who the next player to come over. Um, now, Griezmann's not necessarily in his prime, but it wouldn't surprise me in the least if uh, if Griezmann. I got one he... for you, Luka Modric. Luka, oh, next interesting. Year. Next year, Modric will be in MLS. How about you that? think so? All right. I think so. By the way, uh, I didn't even mention Kylian Mbappe and uh, and others, but I think that this is Messi's to lose, and I think I don't think anybody's going to complain if and when he has chosen and he walks up there and receives the trophy. And I know there's a sentimental part too, but it's not just sentiment. You're still you're fine if, if yeah. Messi wins it. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops every week. Subscribe now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.